On the 21st of March 2019, the Geneva Centre and the permanent mission of the United Arab Emirates to the United Nations in Geneva organised a conference on the theme of celebration of diversity, beyond tolerance, the path towards empathy, at the United Nations office in Geneva. The aim of this conference was to discuss the ways and means to cultivate and spread a culture of tolerance in all its dimensions, characterised by empathy and the celebration of human diversity. As Prince Hassan reminded us, the outcome declaration of the Geneva World Conference, entitled Moving Towards Greater Spiritual Convergence Worldwide, in support of equal citizenship rights of the 25th of June 2018 and by the joint document on human fraternity for world peace and living together, signed by His Holiness Pope Francis and the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Sheikh Ahmed El Tayeb, converged to set a blueprint to build peaceful and inclusive societies and to rejoice in the other. This is a particularly timely initiative. After the perpetration of a heinous terrorist act in Christchurch, New Zealand, which took the lives of scores of innocent worshippers and wounded as many others in two mosques in the country. This shows that terrorism has no nationality and no religion. I am proud to recall that this year is declared by the United Arab Emirates as the year of tolerance in order to further the principles of coexistence and harmony between the 200 nationalities and many religious communities living peacefully in my country. I do hope that we can find concrete ways to tap in the immense mobilizing potential of religion and implement effective programs that allow us to restore tolerance, to live in a celebration of diversity, and to focus on acceptance. A political and sociological analysis reveals the sweeping rise of intolerance in recent decades. The factors that have promoted the current manifestation of intolerance are manifold, some universal, others specific to regions, cultures, and historical contexts. It is therefore important to restore and spread a culture of tolerance and empathy towards the other. أيها الإخوة إن العالم اليوم قد صار سفينة واحدة وإن أي حدث في هذه السفينة سيؤثر على جميع ركابها ومن فيها هذه السفينة تسير إلى المستقبل بسرعة متزايدة فما هو المستقبل الذي يراه أهل هذه السفينة العالم وهم يتقاسمونها ويعيشون فيها إننا إذا تركنا بعض ركاب هذه السفينة يخرقون فيها ولو ثقبا صغيرا فإننا سنغرق جميعا وإذا تعاوننا لمنعهم والضرب على أيديهم نجونا جميعا ونجوهم معنا Tolerance is a matter of respect, and our aim should be for diversity to include tolerance naturally, thereby entailing full respect of the dignity of each person. The recent tragic events remind us that the journey from discrimination to the celebration of diversity is not going to be and has never been an easy one. The journey may not be easy, but it is a necessary one for us to take. And we can only be on this long journey together. During the meeting, the panelists and the audience observed a minute of silence in solidarity with all innocent victims of violence and hatred worldwide. We echo the words of the Prime Minister of New Zealand Jacinda Ardern, who spoke about the ostracization of immigrants and the Muslim community. And she said, they are us, 
and we would like to reply to her that we are you as well. In the interactive dialogue session that followed, representatives from permanent missions and civil society highlighted that the unified voice of all religions and value systems could roll back hatred, bigotry, racism, and the fear of the other. The message from the participants was clear. It is empathy and not ethnicity which creates a sustainable community. Even حينما نتحدث عن التسامح ما هو التسامح؟ التسامح أنا أعتقد أنه هو ممارسة وفعل هو في تعريفه البسيط هو اللين في التعامل والترفع عن الأخطاء للآخر وتقبل الآخر هو مفهوم عميق أنا أعتقد مفهوم التسامح we believe in crucial role of intercultural and interreligious dialogue in promoting tolerance. With this in mind, Azerbaijan has launched Baku process, uh, the goal of which is to strengthen dialogue, partnership and cooperation. As an outcome to the conference, a draft resolution received broad support from the participants who endorsed the 2018 World Conference Outcome Declaration, entitled Moving Towards Greater Spiritual Convergence Worldwide in support of equal citizenship rights. During the debate, the former permanent representative of Yemen to the United Nations in Geneva, His Excellency Dr. Ebrahim al adoufi appealed to the panelists to jointly address a message of appreciation to the government of New Zealand in relation to the handling of the terrorist attacks in Christchurch. The meeting, which adopted this proposal, unanimously felt that the handling of the aftermath of this terrible event stood out as a shining example of the potential of convergence between world religions and was a recognition of the true acceptance of secularity, celebrating diversity as opposed to secularism, which aims at stamping it out.